we have Richmond Ampabin Bediako from Digital Health Access. Welcome to Digital Health Access. This is the platform that gives you access to health education through qualified professionals. At the launch of the app, you can see a personal a session for your personal questions. And this question alone has educated over 80 users. From here, you can switch between different other questions that other participants have asked. From health, you can also come to, come to counseling and learn some more about counseling sessions. And you also go to a session where you are able to track your vitals. By vitals, I mean conditions like your blood pressure. Now, this gives you graphical overview of your blood pressure and its reading for a selected period of time. Not only this, we also give you access to a personal clinic where you can consult your favorite doctors through our application. You can make video calls. You can also engage in live chats. This is done only with digital health access. My name is Ampabin Richmond Bediakon. I'm a, I'm a medical physicist by profession and a software engineer by passion. Um, together with my team, we built this platform to allow people access to health education, um, health records. By health records, we actually laid more focus on um, NCD conditions like diabetes and hypertension, which is one of the leading causes of death in Ghana. Going forward, we also realized that we have this major problem in Ghana. That is generally where you see health education is at the hospital, and this is a set of pregnant women at the hospital where the midwife takes them to advise them. Now, after having sat in a clustered environment like this to, for some level of education, they go ahead to um, join a queue where a nurse has to go through selected folders to be able to pick a folder for them, for them to meet their doctors. The unfortunate incident happens when after having gone through this ordeal of listening to some education, joining this queue only to get to the doctor to realize that the food that was picked for you was for somebody else. Now here we come in with a different level of education as you saw in the previous video, where at the comfort of your home, you are assessing the right information from these professionals. Not only this, we are also um, eliminating the possibility of picking somebody's folder to the doctor by giving them a, a, an electronic medical record system that is um, helping them retrieve patient's data at a click. Now, on the, on the side of education, we are hoping that with the help of support from UNICEF Startup Lab, we are going to be enrolled on the DPG where our content will be made um, accessible for other people globally. Because as I speak now, we've had instances where people are asking about health questions from as far as Philippines. Now, um, we understand that we are not the only um, um, people in this uh, um, landscape. We have other competitors, but the uniqueness about our own is that we are leveraging on education combined with an electronic medical record system where from the hospital at home, you can now get back to the doctor that you interacted at the hospital. Again, we looked at the whole concept in, in, in view, and we realized that looking at the data presented, we have the chance of survival if we target only 5% of the market cap. This is the social impact. We are looking at a global forum where you can learn anything about personal health and educate your colleagues. And then a high economic, uh, an economic impact where you don't have to just pick a car to the hospital to ask something about diabetes, but you can learn saving yourself the cost of, a, the cost of going to the hospital. And the average Ghanaian waits for four hours before you are able to meet a doctor and that you have to go through this whole checkup of picking your folder. Again, these are our revenue models. We run a subscription-based electronic medical record system for health facilities. And we also undertake health educations in schools with corporate institutions. And then in schools, we know that with this partnership coming up with UNICEF, we'll be able to reach more children for a lot more um, impactful society. This has been the traction so far. Launched in 2019, we have over 4,000 users, more than 1,000 um, plus uh, um, download from the various stores, and over 500 answered questions with other affiliate institutions helping on daily basis. This is our ABU team, 
myself and other people who really understand what it means to be hustling in the health interface. And then this is our request. We are looking for a strategic partnership in, as in to be able to expand and then grow, to be able to carry health education and managing health records further. A collaborative outreach with the UNICEF networks to make the health care uh, um, as accessible as possible to all and sundry. Everybody is welcome. Thank you.